हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई प्रभा शर्मा वेलकम यू टू द नेक्स्ट कंटेंट ऑफ अकाउंट्स फॉर इनकम्प्लीट रिकॉर्ड्स नाउ टुडे आई एम मूविंग टू द कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू द इनकम्प्लीट रिकॉर्ड्स रीजंस ऑफ इनकम्प्लीटनेस एंड द लिमिटेशंस ऑफ incomplete records the reasons of the incomplete records it is observed that many business organizations are keeping the accounts with the incomplete records due to the following reasons the reason number 1 this system can be adopted by the people who don't have the proper knowledge of the accounting principles and modifying principles and conventions it is an expensive method of maintaining the records as the accounting process is used the need of the major account and that's why the expense may increase and then this system is less expensive inexpensive the cost involved in the incomplete system is very low specialized accountants are not required to appoint for the organizations to maintain the accounts timing uh, timing consumed in these records are very less so the few books are required to keep in records and it is convenient mode of the maintaining the records as the owners may record only the important transactions according to the need of the business and the requirement of the business so you may see here the reason number 1 is the proper knowledge is not required that's why anybody can use it it is less expensive less cost is included and special accountant is not required time consumption is less and then convenient mode of maintaining the records and keep according to the requirement of the business so these are the reason also these are the benefit also to the incomplete records to follow as a calculations of the profit and loss and the other aspect now move towards the limitations drawbacks of the incomplete records number 1 double entry system is not used trial balance cannot be prepared accuracy of accounts cannot be checked through the trial balance so i think when the rules of debit and credit is not there it means double entry system is not used the items cannot be divided into the nominal real and personal accounts so that's why the trading accounts and profit and loss account and the balance sheet cannot be prepared correctness of the financial results cannot be derived number 3 analysis of the profitability liquidity solvency and the business cannot be done what does it mean the analysis after the preparing the financial statement then the analysis can be done but because incomplete record is not sufficient to provide the double entry system and when double entry system is not there that means financial statement cannot be prepared properly and that's why the analysis cannot be done when the analysis cannot be done the profitability liquidity and the solvency positions of the business cannot be derived so this may be the cause of the problems to raise the funds from the outside means borrowed the from from the outsiders and planning to make for the futures plan for the business activities the owners face different kind of the difficulties levels in filling and in insurance claim with the insurance company in case of loss of any inventory and the loss of any asset or maybe of theft loss by theft it is difficult to convince to the income tax authorities about the reliability of the profit derived from the business so i think these are the limitations limitation number 1 double entry system is not followed number 2 financial results cannot be derived number 3 analysis of the financial statement cannot be calculated 
Number four, insurance claim cannot be proved properly. And now income tax authority is not accepting this method. Income tax authority is giving the priority only to the WNT system. That's why this is not suitable for the business to follow. But the small business are using it. So these are the points which are related with the incomplete record. Thank you. Thank you.